Hello friends, my name's James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop SV Tritea. We're on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. On this season, we're working our way through New Zealand. I want to share with you all the magic that is Aotearoa. Good morning from Polaris Sound. We're in Māori Bay, right at the entrance of Polaris Sound here in the Marlboro Sounds. <clears throat> Had a uh, pretty chill 50 mile motor yesterday, motor sail, mostly motoring. From Nelson, I've been, I was in Nelson for like, I think about a week. Um, kind of licking my wounds. <laughs> from the passage. Um, I had some really nice reinforced frames made for the solar panels to live on. So <clears throat> that's kind of bulletproof now. And um, doing a bunch of work, like computer work in Nelson. And then yesterday we had our passage to here to the sounds. And um, today we're gonna untie and uh, head for Queen Charlotte Sound. Basically my plan is like, I'm pushing hard to get into Queen Charlotte Sound. I'll get all the way down and then I just wanna slowly kinda work my way through the sounds. Eventually ending up back at Nelson so that I can clear out and sail for Australia. So, yesterday was the biggest push. Today is only like a 24 mile passage. We should have good winds, following winds. We should have a nice little run today. And, um, yeah, it's stunningly beautiful here. Just finished my coffee. I think the boat's ready otherwise. And we'll get underway. Boy, slipping a mooring sure is easier than hand hauling up all the anchor and ground tackle. I could get used to that business. I joined this Polaris boating club when I decided to come down to Marlboro Sounds. There's like three different clubs to choose from. Polaris is the cheapest one. Um, and it gives you access to a hundred moorings, which is incredible. Cause these sounds are like, like where we were just tied up to the mooring, it was 90 feet deep. So it gives you like access to really beautiful spots that would be impossible or a nightmare to anchor in. Um, I also set up like a stern tie reel when I was in Nelson so that if I do want to tuck into a little cove, I can do that and so you stern tie to a tree or a rock on shore, pull in real close. <clears throat> but for the most part, we're gonna be grabbing moorings through this whole area. The night, the day I spent at Durville Island, uh, that, that next evening, like a barge came up, a little barge came up with two dudes on it and they were servicing all the moorings for the clubs. And I visited with them like ship to ship. And um, so it was really reassuring to be able to see that they were servicing the moorings and knowing that like three clubs who have like a lot of paying members are the ones that maintain all the moorings. It's easier to trust the moorings here than they are, than it is to trust them in some place like French Polynesia, which you have no idea unless you dive on it and you're not diving on 90 feet deep mooring. So that gives me peace of mind. Normally moorings freak me out, but here I feel totally confident about the state of the moorings. 
It's very, very mellow right now. And um, we should have, we're forecasted to have like 13 to 15 knots of wind behind us. Uh, we gotta kinda hop back out in to cook straight and uh, sail down before we tuck into Queen Charlotte Sound. Today we are bound for Ship's Cove, which is where Captain Cook used to regularly take his ships and um, beach them and work on them. And he spent a lot of time in that area. So we're gonna get into a lot of the history in that zone once we get over there. Now it's time to get back to the cockpit, have some more coffee and uh, enjoy this beautiful scenery. Perfect. Winds are starting to pick up. Looks like it might be a little, little breezy as we round this corner into Queen Charlotte Sound in like an hour. But we have enough wind that now we're doing, we're still doing between five and six knots without the engine, which is always the dream. Perfect, perfect sailing conditions. Very beautiful out. Coming up to Cape Jackson, where we're gonna make our turn into Queen Charlotte Sound. It's it pretty shallow between this like big mark and the Cape, so I think I'm gonna go on the outside of the mark where it's deeper water. I think that the seas are gonna be silly in on the inside, so we'll see. We're like a mile away right now. got feisty that got very feisty look at that scene over there and down below <laughs> everything got dumped I got turned up so hard I couldn't control it but we're through it now and uh, now we got a uh, jibe and point down
soon we'll be in the protection of the land and the seas won't be running so strong. It'll be a lot, a lot smoother sailing. Right now it's very powerful. Doesn't look like it on camera, but it is tough to keep the boat on course right now. So shit just got real sketchy. The tiller just broke. We're close to land. We just got like a 35 knot gust that steered us toward land. I was holding it hard over and the tiller started breaking. I don't have the hydrovane tiller installed. It's right there, or the uh, rudder. Because I wasn't using it because we're near shore. Check it out. That ain't good. Now I gotta try to get this fucking rudder on, the hydrovane, in these conditions, which is not good. I should have had it installed. Lessons learned, I guess. Whew. All right, I'm gonna try to put this rudder on the hydrovane. I'm not sure. It's difficult when you're at an anchor. So in these conditions, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but we're gonna try it. I'll never make this mistake again. Hallelujah! Ooh, I got docked real hard, but... 
we have a rudder. Oh boy. Nightmare. Brings back PTSD from the Hawaii situation. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Ooh wee. Ha ha ha. That's wild. Ha ha ha. Woo! Oh, so happy with this hydro vein. Okay. We have six miles to our mooring. So, should be good. If we get the mooring, it's gonna be a little tricky picking up the mooring while I'm steering back there unless I can fabricate something simple in the next six miles. And then I'll build some kind of like, I have a spare tiller. I'll, I'll set up some kind of situation so that we can get to Picton and try to figure out what to do about the tiller head. Wild shit. It's probably blowing like 25 to 30 constant. It's supposed to be 13. Big C's. We're four miles from the anchorage. blowing over 40 knots right now probably because of the land it's really really windy it's amazing how big this fact can get in a short distance it's unbelievable it's got to be 45 knots or more I don't have a wind gauge so I don't know exactly We're 2.9 miles from the anchorage. Feels like we're out of the worst of the sort of catabatic situation. Seas have come down a lot. We're like just over two miles. I can see Ship's Cove ahead of us. There's a tall ship in there. We're past like the dangers that I was worried about. There was like a cardinal mark I couldn't see forever because the sea state was so gnarly, but we got past it safe. Hydrovane is like saving the day. Wanda Jean to the rescue. I love you, Hydrovane. Now there's like no wind, which is awesome. I hope it's like this in the anchorage. Problem 
with no wind is that the hydro vane doesn't work anymore. You can hook up a tiller pilot to the hydro vane. They have holes in the tiller, but I don't have a bracket for my auto tiller that would work. trying to get this person's attention, but the dinghy's on deck. I held him on the VHF. I blasted the horn twice. No one's come on deck. Might go see if this fishing boat will let me raft up to them. Both the moorings are used, or like someone's on both moorings, so. I don't know where these people are. Maybe they're off on another boat. Go check this fishing boat. There's people fishing on it at least. Oh, here they are. Awesome. This is going to be tricky. Hopefully it doesn't get windy. It's very difficult, I'm trying. safely wrapped it up at Ship's Cove, and now it's time to eat. Good morning from Ship's Cove. Um, okay, it is time to repair the tiller situation. I have my spare tiller, which is my original tiller, and I have a bunch of options for tangs. I have these actual tangs, these Mondo tangs, and these that the captain of this boat that I'm tied up to gave me yesterday, which is really kind of him. Um, I'm leaning towards these 
because they're like actually tiller tanks. So I'm gonna get to bolting off, bolting them onto the new old tiller and uh, modifying it as I need to get it to work. And there we have it. Temporary tiller installed. This is actually the original tiller from Tritea. Um, I like this one, this style better. It's more of a tiller. It's really nice. But um, this <laughs> is gonna, you know, save the day. Uh, I could have like U clamped and like, you know, did something with this one. I could have even like cut it shorter and like bolted it like snubby style got rid of all this old business but I'll I'll, pro I'll save this as a temporary also or like a uh, spare option until I get a new one but uh, as soon as I can find a new one that's like that in one of the chandeliers I'm gonna buy it but this is gonna do us great <clears throat> got my tangs for my last tiller head so they're Mondo we're great, got it all drilled out, bolted up, and fit in place. And the other boat that we were rafted up to, they just cleared out. So now Trite is on the mooring all by herself. But we, we're also like totally able to head off and go wherever we want now that we fix the tiller. So stoked that that job's done. I was never stressed about it because I knew I had all the stuff on board to do it. And the hydro vane is like so badass. <laughs> Made yesterday much, much better. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day. I'm pretty like wiped out from yesterday's adventure. Um, and then even this morning, like thinking about all this stuff that need to be done. And then now it's taken me like most of the day to get this spare tiller installed. So another boat just pulled up and picked up the other club mooring over there. And um, now it's just time to relax for a while. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time.